Hello, I'm Atubo George. Now, this is a new week. I'm so, so excited to be bringing God's truth to you. And I trust the Spirit of God. He's got something very, very good that He's going to be sharing with us through me this week. But you know the, what the Lord has commanded us at, at every day on this broadcast that we call forth our daily bread. So are you ready? Now say this with all of your heart and mean it with me. Praise God. Let's go. Say with me. Say, Father, today I demand and I receive my daily bread. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Amen. This thing, favor is coming to you today. You will receive things that you never bargained for. I mean, good things, praise God, because not everything, but good things. You will receive things you never bargained for. You will receive things cheaper than they cost, really, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father. Father, we give you praise for today's broadcast. Your eyes are upon us, Lord. You know everything thing that we need and according to your timing and our days lord you are releasing your wisdom and so we receive it from you in jesus name amen praise god now turn your bibles with me to first peter chapter number five. First peter thank you lord jesus i'm sharing with you today on what I titled, or oh, this whole week we're going to be talking about living carefree. Praise God. Living carefree. Praise God. Now someone said, how? How do you say that? All right, let's, let's look at what the scripture said. Praise God. He says, First Peter chapter 5 and verse 6. We're reading verse 6 and 7. Now verse 5 says, Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Then he says, the next verse says, casting all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. Praise God. He is telling you, Cast your cares upon him. Who? He just told you, humble, all, all, uh, humble yourself under the mighty hand of the Lord. And when you do so, the Lord is going to exalt you by himself. And he will do that at the right time. Now, many times when we say at the right time, you know, people want to think his right time might not be my right time. Praise God. But you know what? He made you. Have you forgotten? He made you. All your days are before him. And so he doesn't wake up one day and say, mm, like someone say, oh, Father, remember me. Oh, God, remember me. Hey, he never forgot you. I understand when we pray those kind of prayers. I understand what we mean. You know, God, just, just, just do something good for me. So that's what we're saying. But we, we don't mean it in the sense of like he's forgotten. So Lord, remember me. He goes, mm, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Okay, that is Sister Enkiru. Oh, no. Oh, praise God, no. You are always on his mind. Praise God. Sometimes people say, how, how can I be always on his mind? Do you know God is thinking of all the billions of people on the face of the earth? That's why he's God. Think about it. He, he can be talking to one million people at the same time. You meet somebody say, God spoke to me, you know, this morning when I woke up, actually about 5.45 a.m., the voice of God came to me. And someone said, ah, about that same 5.44 a.m., the voice of God came to me too. And he was talking to us about different things. So it's not like he was speaking one thing and all of us are tuned in to his frequency and we are hearing. He's talking to me about, you know, finances. He's talking to someone else about his job or his health. And we look at, he, he was speaking at the same time. How? That's why he's God, praise God. Yeah. So don't bother about all those things. You, you just live as though you're the only one on the face of the earth with God. That's how we live. That's how we live. Sometimes people want to pray, say, um, 
This is my prayer. You know, God, I don't want to bother you so much because I know there are several people that are calling on you. As though, as everybody is praying, God says, oh, so who do I listen to? The voices are too many. Who do I listen to? Um, angels, can you lower the volume of everybody and just increase that person's volume? <laughs> no, sir. Thank you, Holy Spirit. These are all imaginative things that people have in their minds. And that's because they don't know Him. They don't know God. You see, God set up the administration of his works on the earth in our lives. And that's why he has given us his spirit. Now, it is the Holy Spirit that makes God... How do I explain this to you now? You know, describing the Holy Spirit is... There are no words really in this realm to describe it. He, he is the one that makes God to be to be able to go to several places at the same time. So we call him the omnipresent. See, it's because of the Holy Spirit. Now that's the same Holy Spirit he gave to us. I want you to think about this. See how important you are. That's the same Holy Spirit he gave to you as a person. He gave you the Holy Spirit to narrow your relationship with him. So he can dwell with you as though you're the only person on the face of the earth. And yet deal with everybody as though they are the only people on the face of the earth. Yeah, because of the Holy Spirit. So take advantage of the Holy Spirit. Instead of complaining, just take full advantage of the Spirit of God. Enjoy his personality. Enjoy the love of God. See, so now he's telling us, Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. The Amplified Version says, Lower yourself before your own eyes. See? Lower yourself. And he says, do it under the mighty hand of God. Not just, he just, just say, humble yourself. So say, you better humble yourself. You better humble yourself. You better know who you're humbling yourself under. Praise God. But this case, it says, under the mighty hand of God. And then he says, the one who you're humbling yourself under, he has the ability to lift you up at the right time. Now, how do you do this? He told us here, verse 7. Now, I want you to take note of something. In verse 6, he says, I, I want you to look into your Bibles now. He said, verse 6, he says, Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. After that due time, you have the, 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 the colon there. Now that colon there is telling you, he wants to explain what he just said. And so what do we find under the colon, after the colon? Casting all your cares upon him, for he cared for you. Praise God. So how do you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God? You cast all your cares upon him. Now, that's to also tell you the reason people don't humble themselves under the mighty hand of God is because of cares. Now, very simple example. You, you ask somebody, hey, why didn't you go to church today? Oh, I'm so sorry I couldn't come because I had to do this. I had to do that. I had to be in this place. I had to do all that, you know, and, and tomorrow I was supposed to be at work early. I had to, I had to, I had to. Now, those are all cares. Now, the question is, why didn't you come to church today? And you begin to relate to the person all the cares that you carry at that moment that prevented you from coming to church. So why don't you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God? Oh, you know what? You know, I, I have this bill to pay. I have this thing to take care of. I have this thing. Now he said, hey, 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 cast all that care. Cast it. You know what it is to cast it? You throw something, fling something why did he say you should cast it onto the Lord? Because the Lord cares for you. So it is useless caring for yourself in the first place. Now you see why I say we're tired of living carefree. Praise God. Yeah. 
So he is inviting you now to cast, throw, fling. All, not some, all of, a, of your cares on the Lord. So you bring the care of your finances to the Lord. You bring the care of your health to the Lord. You bring the care of um, your marital issues to the Lord. You bring the care of your children to the Lord. Every care that you have, you bring it on to the Lord. And what do you do after that? See, you see, sometimes we read all the scriptures and they look so wonderful. And then so, Father, I cast my care over to you. I cast, I refuse, I will not care again. I cast those care to you. And then what do you do after that? He said, well, we just stay, we just wait. He said, we should not worry now. So I'm staying, not, I'm staying, I refuse to worry. Yes, but there are certain things that you do. That's what we're going to be dealing with. That's what we're going to be talking about this week. Praise God. So, haven't cast, haven't obeyed his word. He says, humble, humble, humble. Now that tells you, those who carry their own cares are proud people. They are proud people. And, and so the Bible says, God resists the proud. That's what he does. He resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Now, do you see that? So, you need grace. If you need grace, what do you do? Humble yourself under his hand. When you humble yourself under his hand, what does he do? He gives you grace. When you say, no, I, 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 I have all these things I have to take care of. I, I, you know, you remember, you know, I, I, I have to, I have to, I, I. I said, okay, you're proud. But because you are proud, he holds grace from you. Actually, he resists you. Now, not because... Sometimes, you know, we don't get it right. You know, you just think God, maybe God just wants to show that he's God. No, the reason he is telling you to be humble is because all those things that you want to care about, he has already done stuff concerning them. I want you to understand this. Everything you're going to care about, God has actually done something concerning them. He has finished them. So your caring is like a repetition of what he has done. And guess what? You are not going to do it as perfectly as he has done it. So you are going to just be causing unnecessary trouble for yourself. And sometimes I don't understand how people just... you Listen, something has been done. It is perfect. You can't add anything to it. But he just wake up and say, you know what? I, 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 want to, I, want to, I want to find my own way. A way has been made already for you. Find that way and enjoy the ride. He said, no, I don't know. I don't know. So let me find way by myself. You go on rocky paths, not even knowing if you are going to get to your destination. <laughs> Praise God. See, that's, what, that's how a lot of people live their lives. But God is telling us today, stop it. Stop it. It is time to reorganize your life. It is time to begin to trust in the Lord. It is time to begin to find the patterns, the things that God has set. And then you cast the care over to him and walk in the path that he has set for you. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. This week is going to be a great week. I'm telling you, I'm going to be so practical as possible with you. So, so you don't just hear, you hear and do. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we honor you today. Thank you for the blessing of your truth and your spirit. As we submit ourselves to walk in your truth, we see all these changes coming in our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus, amen. Praise God. Listen, today is going to be a great day for you. Receive everything God has planned for you and be blessed. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.